Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. This is Captain's Vlog. We are currently docked in Cavallo, the island of Cavallo. Now Cavallo is a very small island just off the southeastern tip of the island of Corsica. Now there's a lot of history with this island. There's a lot of well-known shipwrecks. Uh, it's kind of known the local area, it's kind of like Shipwreck Island. And so we docked here yesterday. It was pretty windy when we docked, about 20, 25 knots of wind. It's nice and calm uh, today. And so the interesting thing about this island is a number of years ago, it was bought, from what I understand, by three or four investors. And their idea was to put this beautiful, like five-star retreat resort um, and turn it into you know this this amazing destination island now however uh, the Corsican people are very passionate about their island they take very good care of their island it is probably one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been to Corsica and the local people didn't want it to happen and so the owners of the island said, well, we own the island, we can build whatever we want to do. And so the locals said, yeah, you can do whatever you want, but we're not going to supply water. We're not going to supply, supply electricity. We're not going to collect your garbage. So basically they stopped them from, from building the infrastructure uh, to, to create this resort. So now the island has a few apartments, a few, ho a few houses and a very, very small hotel. Now, the way that people get around the island is with golf carts. What you can do, you can rent these golf carts and cruise around the island. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna take you guys up to the hotel so you can see the views from there. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go and check it out. beautiful this is guys so this is the hotel here and uh, what they do as we're on our island they pick all their guests up from the mainland of Corsica with their tender they load up all the luggage bring the guests on board and then bring them over absolutely stunning hotel fantastic location So I've positioned myself on a very, kind of like, not too high, but high up point of view so you guys can get a better idea. There's all little, little tiny bays here on Cavallo, but this check how beautiful this is, guys. This is absolutely, so you've got a bay over here, got another one in here. You see a little catamaran anchor there, and you've got another super yacht over there. The hotel is just there. And then basically the port is just behind these buildings here. You can see the, the masts where the port is. And it's just absolutely stunning here. Now the other interesting thing about Cavallo Island is they actually had, they started building an airstrip, a runway uh, for you know small aircraft to land on. So it's gonna be a very high-end resort as I previously mentioned. And so, <laughs> Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some footage that I got on the drone of flying the drone over a deserted runway, so to speak. It's all churned up uh, soil now, uh, but it was pretty cool flying the drone over a runway. Um, so check out this footage, guys. It's pretty cool.
So our plan then uh, later on this morning, uh, time now is just about to go eight o'clock. Uh, we'll leave port around uh, tenish, and we're going to head west to beautiful bay off the uh, southern western coast of Corsica called Roccapina. Now Roccapina is a beautiful beach with crystal clear waters. Great day to spend, sorry, great place to spend the day. We'll be there at anchor tonight and then we'll continue up the west coast on this trip. So we're going to do Ajaxia, we'll do Girolata, back to Calvi, Il Ru, and then back down to Bonifacio at the end of the end of the trip. One day turnaround and then we bring the next guests on board. So with the current uh, itinerary, um, which is now the beginning of August, uh, we're back to back now until September, so no days off till September. It's going to be a very tough month for the crew and I, but uh, it's it's the season, you know, it's, it's the time we've got to work hard, put the hours in, and then uh, reap, the, reap the rewards at the end of the season. But when you get opportunities like this to go on walks, and you see how beautiful it is. And we are very lucky we get to visit these fantastic places, you know, around the Mediterranean. And... Uh, I know James, the chef, he went for a run this morning, he ran around the island and he said he actually turned his headphones off because he just wanted to um, experience the, just the island itself, you know, not have any distractions for music. So, very special place. So, we're right on the runway now. The runway was supposed to start over there and then come all the way down here and continue over there. But they, I don't think they ever got used to be honest with you. There's no, I think it was used as a grass runway. Um, there's been a lot of potential on this island, but I can understand uh, the locals wanted to keep it natural and uh, keep it quiet. But anyway, um, if any of you guys do get the opportunity to come to Corsica, Corsica I highly recommend it. It has a lot of offer. A lot to offer especially if you're on a sailing boat or a motorboat or anything there's some stunning anchorages you always find shelter the ports like Calvi, Bonifacio, Porto Vecchio are fantastic there's great restaurants great food um, and there's a lot to do on land as well there's canyoning we went zip lining the other day the crew and I um, canoeing it's a lot to offer it's beautiful and uh, Definitely highly recommend it. Highly, highly recommend it. In fact, we'll go. So this bay is now the eastern side of Cavallo. So for the sailors or boats out there that want to cruise this area, you can see if you look on your charts uh, or on Google Maps, in fact, you see the eastern point of Cavallo Island. You can see this bay, very popular for sailing vessels. It's a very secure anchorage, good holding ground, and you're secure from the wind, which is predominantly from, from the west. Occasionally you get the easterlies coming through but predominantly west, westerly winds and you can see it's absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The chap there in the end of the key doing his workout. Beautiful homes, look at these houses guys. Right, one final thing guys, I want to show you a very special boat which belongs to a fashion designer called Roberto Cavalli. And uh, I don't know if you know him or you know his, his fashion I think, but he's got a very interesting looking boat. So I'm going to show you guys right now. This is built in Olbia, this boat, and it belongs to Roberto Cavalli. He loves all the leopard prints. 22 meters. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments box below. Right, as always guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Again, if you get the opportunity to go to Cavallo or Corsica, I would highly recommend it. 
It is now later on the afternoon. It's just gone past 3 p.m. We are now anchored in Rockapina, beautiful anchorage on the west coast of Corsica. Corsica. Again, I would highly, highly recommend it. As always, guys, please do like this video. And if you haven't done already, please do consider subscribing. Also, also as mentioned in previous videos, uh, we have signed up to the Clear Ocean Pact. So if you work on a super yacht, whether you're a captain or a deckhand or a stew or a perso engineer, please, please, please encourage your uh, captain or owner to sign up to the pact to eliminate the use of single use plastics. So what we've done on AWOL, the crew, for example, are now using stainless steel bottles and we give stainless steel bottles to our guests, which they can take home as a parting gift at the end of their trip. And uh, now Clear Ocean Packs, you can check them out, www.clearoceanpack.org or check out their Facebook or Instagram, Clear Ocean Pact. So guys, I really think it's all of our responsibility to sign up to this. Everywhere we go, there's plastic everywhere and all the beaches, you know, it's down to us to, to stop it, to eliminate it. And uh, I really hope I can count of, for those of you that are working yours, I hope I can count on you to encourage the, um, the, the change or the, the move over to these types of bottles. Okay guys, uh, and that's all for today. I look forward to seeing you all next video.